Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XII! Since last time, I've spawned the rare game, The Weary Wolf, which I've already... I got it on my first try, so I got pretty lucky there with that guy. He's pretty much immune to anything I care about, as far as debuffs go. Uh, also, uh, well, you know what, I'll do, I'll do it afterwards. I was going to go over some new licenses that I learned, but uh, I will do that afterwards. Let's uh, dispel The Weary Wolf, and then have everyone else... Go after the worgen. There we go. I'd make a World of Warcraft reference about the worgen, but I can't really think of anything that would be topical. Oh well. But anyway, yeah, this guy supposedly has a relatively low spawn rate, but I was able to. I usually don't have that much trouble spawning him. So just go all out against him. I wouldn't even bother with any debuffs. Or Go Bosh! Did he just regen- oh. No, I'm looking at the HP bar of the guy behind him. Alright, there we go. Ooh, an Arcana. Nice. That'll be useful for some bizarre packages. Okay, let's take a look at the rare game entry then. Oh yeah, I forgot to look at all these old ones. Oops, no, not that one. That was the first one that I got. Mom bombs. <laughs> nice reference there. Yeah, he, he's just bigger than all the other ones. But other than that... Okay, well, let's take out these guys then. Oh, by the way, just so you know where we are on the map, we're in the Masforan Highways. Remember when I took the Chocobo all the way through to get up to that gate crystal there? Well, this is about where I was to... Uh, hunt that rare game. Sometimes it's further up on the path. It may not be like immediately. It may not be on the first part. Like wh where you saw me fight him. But, wow, that's just where I happened to see him the first time. Let's kill at least one of them before moving on to the next one. Thanks. Sometimes you gotta enter in your commands manually in order to make your characters do what you want them to do. There's really no such thing is a perfect gambit setup, unfortunately. I heard the International Zodiac version of the game, or whatever, makes it a lot easier. They had add a whole bunch more gambits. Okay, do not aggro the fire elemental. That wouldn't be the end of the world. But still, let's, uh, let's try to avoid that if we can. This guy is just not worth fighting. There we go. Yeah, we're just going to pass you on by. Well, he doesn't have that much HP, but I don't really have that much of a good way of dealing with him. He just has too much HP, and it's just not worth killing. So, don't worry about it. Okay, so now that we've made it back here, let's uh, take a look at the licenses that I learned. For everyone, I've already done this for everyone else off screen. Well, first, for Vaughn, I want to get the Heavy Armor 6 license. And I already got that for the other three there, not the other two ladies. And I also learned a few new licenses over here. Charge could be good. I might buy it someday. If you want it, you can. You can get it back at Revenaster. But most importantly, there's going to be a new ability that we're going to be getting here. A thousand needles, which is really good for dealing with flying enemies. I'm going to be adding a gambit just for that, actually. But yeah, um, they, they sell some new things now that we're at this point in the game. Okay, how's it going? Well, let's see what new stuff you're selling here now. Let's see. Finally, a new spear. Let's give that to Fran there. And let's see. Okay, that's it for that. New platinum shield would be nice. And an Astra Khan hat. Let's see a couple diamond helms. And a couple diamond armors. Oops! No, not to you. Okay, well, I'll get it. Oh, no, no. Uh, let's see. We've gotten all the accessories, but I want to get the thousand needles. Ooh! I barely had enough money for all that stuff. But yeah, Vaughn, no, we don't want that on you. Yeah, we want you to have that. And I'll sell all my excess stuff later. 
Not right now. There's a little puzzle you can do here with these shrines or whatnot, but I'm not especially worried about it. So let's just, uh, nah, I don't need to save. Let's just move on. Oh, wait, there is someone who has a hunt here. I think it's this guy. Yeah, there he is. Almost forgot about that. The Brig. My name is The Brig. No, no, that's something else. Chimmy Chin Chin? No. no. Well, I'll see. I'll do the best I can for you. Break the hunt begins. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Well, I'll remember to keep an eye out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop chewing me out for that. Okay, well, anyway. Now what I want to do is we want to head up north. We got to get to Arcades. I like how they have the uh, scenery around here. Where you got those patches of leaves. You got to walk around and everything like that. We already got the map for this area. You get that back at the uh, North Bank camp. If you hadn't... Whoa! Yeah, let's uh, not fall for that one. Yeah, you want to keep float on everyone here. They all float. Let's see. That is where the hunt is going to be. So we're not there yet. Oh, you know, I need to change uh, change up my gambits a little bit. Let's take this guy out first. So. So we're going to have some flying enemies to deal with. So we, I already added a faux flying gambit. And let's just make that a thousand needles there. So it's a very handy. It, basically, what thousand needles does is it deals exactly a thousand damage to an enemy. So it's certainly better than what our physical attacks can do right now. And it can actually hit flying enemies without costing any MP. It does have a little bit of a long charge time, but not nothing extraordinary. Just it's going to take a little while. That's all. But it's better than. Well, no, I suppose it wouldn't be better than a sharp stick in the eye, would it? It's a thousand sharp sticks. Hmm. Let's take the lower path. I don't think it matters which path you exactly take. <laughs> a few more ought to do. Got it. I love the noise that they make when you hit them with a thousand needles. Da -da 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 it's so satisfying. If only cockatrices would make a noise like that when you're killing them. Unfortunately, also with Thousand Needles, it does not have the best of accuracy. But it does work, especially when you got three party members going at it. Oh well. I just love the sound of these guys getting hit with Thousand Needles. I can't make the cockatrices sound like that, so I'll settle for the birds. It's okay. Don't run away. Where do you think you're... Oh. Ow. Oh, thanks, Fran. What happened to you, Ash? Uh-oh. Your protect will not save you. Yeah, Thousand Needles goes through defense. It ignores defense and everything like that. Oh, are there two of them here? Oh, we got the fire elemental. Nuts. We aggroed him. Or did we? No, I didn't aggro him. Who are you stealing from? Well, we got them all the same. Let's not aggro the fire elemental, though. Thanks. Oh, float's wearing off. I'm surprised it wore off you first, Ash. I would think Bosch would have the worst fatality for that. Oh. I didn't even need to reestablish it, but, well, you might as well. Let's heal up before taking on the hunt here.
Uh, you know what? Let me take a moment to buff up and I'll be right back. Okay, we're all set and ready to go. Just basically got haste, brave, and faith. That ought to be good enough. Hmm, maybe a decoy on Bash wouldn't be a terrible idea. I wouldn't even bother with... Ah, uh, what's the other one? Uh, maybe I buffed up a bit too early. Yeah, I probably did. He's on the northern end of this area. Ash, get over here. Get your Ash over here. Thank you. Wow. Oh, yeah, I was going to ask, why? how did my party get so powerful? It's like, oh, yeah, I've got all the buffs on everyone. Probably should have waited to use the buffs. Oh, well. We'll get our MP back, and then we'll do that again. Maybe. Ah, there he is. Okay, maybe I don't need to worry about that too much. Use your thousand needles. Stop stealing from them. Don't kamikaze. Thank you. Let's see if I can't just go straight at... No. Yeah, I'm going to have to... Uh... Okay, I'm going to take care of these two bird birds off screen now. Be right back. Okay, we're all... we took care of those guys, and we're all buffed up and ready to go. First things first, let's go with Dispel. And then, once we've gotten charged up for that, go with Slow and Disable, because I don't want Dispel getting rid of those debuffs. Okay, we got Slow on him and Disable. Okay, and then just go to town on the guy. Just like the Enclados, we could get Disable on him, but this time, well, we actually can. Because we got... Dispel, and Faith, and Serenity, and all that other good stuff. Yeah, all you can do is just kind of stare at us while we're taking you out. Alright, that was a pretty easy hunt. Atomos Vanquished! Let's see, how far do we have to go? Just one more little area. Alright. Yeah, those flying enemies can get a little annoying, having to use the thousand needles against them, but oh well. Huh, I guess this is the safe zone. Looks like we made it. Ooh, and now one of my other favorite areas in the game. I love the Salika Wood. It's got nice atmosphere and even the music and everything. It's just nice and serene. It's a little happy music, too. Got a little bit of a bounce to the music. So, we're going to be here for a little while, viewers. Oh, I thought there was a save point here. Oh. Okay, I get... Oh. Okay, I guess there is no save point. Yeah, with these weird hairs, you want to try and, uh, if you can, win a Stardust from them. That would be nice. Oh, yeah. I could have used uh, Immobilize on them. A lot of people were asking me, H.C. Bailey, could you have used Immobilize on that Vorpal Bunny hunt? And the answer is no. No, you cannot do that. So th that's why I was using Berserk on him, because uh, that's the only other way you could sort of semi-immobilize. Berserk is kind of like an alternative to silence or immobilize if you can't otherwise get them going. Ooh, we got a screen. That can be useful for certain bizarre packages. Not that I'm going to use them, but they are there. They sell for a pretty penny, though, at least. Oh, did I? Oh, I was like, did I go the wrong way? No, we just gotta go this way.
Now, we do have that carrot hunt that I want to go after. We're not going to do that today. First things first, I want to uh, see if I can pick up the map. For this entire area. Okay, let's see what we got here. Uh, I can't very well see where I'm going, so... You know what, I'm just going to run from everything, because I don't even know exactly where the map is. So, let's just skip past these losers, if you don't mind, viewers. Okay, yeah, I am going the right way. There it is. There's the map. No, 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 I don't want to fight them. Uh, you're going to make me fight them, aren't you? Okay, well, anyway, we got the map for the Celica Wood now, so we can figure out... Uh, I didn't want to fight them now. Okay, we're going to fight them now, then. But can we defeat the Mighty Carrot at such low levels? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy XII! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!